In this quick video, I'm going to show you how to update the screen files on your Ender 3 version 2. This video is designed to be a follow on from the Gyres firmware update, so go and check that video out if you haven't before watching this one. If you just want to know how to update the screen files and it's for a different firmware, use exactly the same process, but just make sure you have screen files that match your firmware. I'm going to assume here that you already know what Gyres firmware is, that you've updated your printer's firmware and that you have a formatted SD card ready. Follow the link below to the Gyres files and download the source code zip file. Extract the content somewhere sensible, then open the Marlin folder, then display firmware and open the readme file. Have a read, but basically it explains that you need to open the firmware sets folder and choose from three versions of display files. I chose the gotcha set for no particular reason and then copied it to my empty SD card. You then need to change the name of the folder so that it only has the DWIN set text. Delete anything else. Your card is now ready for your printer screen. If anyone knows the difference between the three different screen file options, then let us all know in the comments, as I couldn't find any explanation myself. With the printer turned off, remove the screen from its holder by pushing up firmly. Remove the plug from the back and undo the four screws before removing the back cover. Insert your SD card and then plug the screen back in and sit it on something that won't damage the board. Now power on the printer and the screen should go blue before turning orange to show it's done. As you can see, the first time I tried it, it failed. This is because I had my SD card formatted wrong. If you have this problem, make sure you format the SD card as FAT32, but also with an allocation unit size of 4096. Mine have been at 32 kilobytes. Once I reformatted and copied the folder again, everything did what it should. After you get an orange screen, turn your printer off and remove the card before refitting the back cover. Delete the screen files from your SD card and copy back any print files you want. You now have the full usability of the Gyres user interface and the nicer looking icons for your display. Click here if you want to see more videos for the Ender 3 version 2 or click here for another video you might like. Thanks for watching.